So good evening, good evening, good evening. Tonight we have an awesome treat for you all. We have Miss Lena Michelle. She is the R&B empress. Miss Lena Michelle, she's a singer. She's an actress. She's a model. She's a writer. She's a business owner. She's a survivor. She is the R&B empress. Whatever title you give to Lena Michelle, she wears it with pride. She gives all her thanks to God for blessing her with her divine gift. She was born in Detroit. And it was only right that the Empress uses her voice to influence others. After taking on over 300 plus stages and hosting 10 of her own, Lena had to take a small hiatus from performing due to health reasons. While on her journey to healing, she's continued to write and record music with artists all over the world under 2SA Entertainment Management Group. She loves donating her time and from time to time, a portion of her profits to charities. On March 26, 2017, the R&B Empress released her long-awaited debut album, Blue Dream Avenue. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Despite the obstacles and negativity from some people, Lena vows to push through with her leading single, Let the Games Begin. 2017 started the year of the R&B Empress. You have so many, so many, so many accomplishments and so many awards. So we're going to name, we're going to name, we're going to name just some of her accomplishments. Okay. <laughs> so she was Detroit's Female Artist of the Year. Well, no, not Detroit's. But I was the only Detroit artist that was okay. out there. Okay. Because we don't get into that too. Okay. 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 So the eighth annual Taste Music Awards official nominee, Artist of the Year, R&B Soul, International <laughs> Singer Songs Writer. International Singer Songwriters Association. You're an active member with them. July the 10th, 2020, Ms. Lena Michelle won Female Artist of the Year in Jacksonville, Florida. That's a big piece from Detroit. Well, thank you. It is. February 23rd, 2021, the city of Southfield, Missouri, awarded Lena Michelle R&B Empress with an award for her Black History Placement on Charity Work. And I can't wait till we discuss that also. August 18, 2021, the Jose, did I pronounce that right? The Jose Music, the Josie. Uh, Josie. Music Award in Knoxville, Tennessee, honored Lena Michelle R&B Empress with her six music awards. July 31st, 2022, the Songwriter Awards awarded Lena Michelle R&B Empress her seventh award for best R&B song, I Want to Know You. September the, September the 30th, 2022, the World Songwriter Awards awarded Lena Michelle R&B Empress her eighth award, best R&B song, I'm so proud. I mean, this list just goes on and on and I'm not even <laughs> mentioning I'm not even mentioning everything, everybody, because it's so much to mention. Wine and Girl Talk with R&B Empress, uh, July the 11th, 2021, and that's on YouTube. So uh, for those of you who are watching, now you need to go uh, look up R&B Empress, Miss Lena Michelle, and there's L-A-Y, no, yes, it is, there's L-A-Y mm -hmm. apostrophe N-A. Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So I'm encouraging everybody, please go check her out, follow her because she has so many things that we're just not going to be able to name everything tonight. <laughs> um, so we're going to we're going to go over and and she has more. More things that she's been doing. So, Ms. Lena. Mm hmm. Okay, tell me, tell me what was going on at the African American Museum. Um, at the Charles H. Wright Museum, um, African American Museum, since I was the first African American independent artist to sing my own original music, no cover music, 
inside of the LCA or the Little Caesars Arena, um, right before the Pistons game, they awarded me an exhibit. And it was only supposed to be for like a week or two, but they extended it for like four weeks. And yeah, I was in there and it felt so good to be one of the only artists alive, um, whether independent or major, to even have an exhibit in a museum. It's like, wow, I'm already making history. <laughs> and I'm alive to still make some more. <laughs> well, let's talk about making this history because you are a very busy lady. Like, this is just the music side of things. This technically <laughs> is not all you do. So, um, you, I mean, if, if did I did I see or read correctly? You do something with cooking. Um, cooking? Well, that's my mom with the cooking. I eat. Um, <laughs> okay. But with me, I do candles, and I can make the candles look like different desserts. Okay. So with my mom, she'll make the dessert, and I'll just mimic it and make it into a candle. Okay, so you yeah. making home candles? You're out here traveling, mm -hmm. road. You're not just putting your music out there and waiting on people to just to just come to where you are. You're actually going and you're going to these mm -hmm. different places and you're networking and you're also uh, um, a representative, a very high performing um, representative of a of a brand that's been out also as well. So you're doing Mary Kay, you're doing your music, you're doing all of these things. And that's just some of the things that we see on the business side. So I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get into everything. So let's hint a little bit more on the music. We know you're from Detroit. We know you have an awesome voice. I can tell you have Thank such you. just a sweet spirit. You're welcome. What motivates you to want to participate in the R&B version of the music industry? You know, R&B is timeless. It's not going nowhere. If you notice with hip hop and rap, don't get me wrong, you know, that mumble rap, I listen to some of it, but at the same time, you never hear anything like that about R&B, you know? You hear about a lot of hip hop artists. Okay, they didn't hit this certain age. It's time for them to stop. You will never hear about that with R&B, never. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna keep on going with R&B and try to make that timeless music like Minnie Rippleton or Etta James and Barry White. I'm trying to be like that. <laughs> and Whitney Houston, you know. So what, what drives you? What is your motivation behind because you got you got to have some heavy endurance to be able to do these things that you're doing. What is your motivation to help keep you pushing and pushing and pushing? I have to say my faith in God, that's my main, because there's so much that I've been through. You know, I had a stroke one year and the same year, I was right back on stage on Amazon Prime with the Josie Music Awards. You know, I have PTSD and from an assault that happened to me when I was a teenager, but it's the fact that I'm still here and that I'm still alive that lets me know you're here for a purpose. And every time I'm ready to give up, it seemed like a door opens. So I'm like, I can't give up. I can't. All I can do is thank God and pray that I'm making him happy. You know, I just keep on going. So let's elaborate before we get into this great, great stuff that you're doing. Let's talk <laughs> about some of these challenges that you have dealt with in the industry, because this is, I know a lot of industries are hard, but I believe the music industry is very challenging. You have so many different people out here doing so many different things. It has changed truly over the years. So mm -hmm. let's talk about some of these challenges that you have dealt with in the industry? Ooh, I, I put it to you like this. Just in my home city, Detroit, I have people, instead of wanting to team up with me or say, hey, let's do this, let's, you know, put Detroit on the map. I got people out here paying for me, literally kicking out cash money for me to not get to certain levels in certain places. 
And instead of me going back and forth with them or, you know, starting anything, I said, it's okay. That's just that door that was closed. So I'm gonna sit in the hallway and I'm gonna pray about it. And I'm gonna pray for you too, since you wanna be so negative. And as soon as I do that, a door opens up. Then another door opens up. So it's like, I can't look in my rear view. You know, even going for singing, one of the representatives tried to have me sing with a karaoke machine. Come on now, as big as arena is, and you want me to sing on a karaoke machine? I think not. I don't think so. And because I stood my ground, I am where I am today. If I had just accepted what was given to me or things that people try to throw at me, then no, I wouldn't be where I am now. So I'm very thankful where I am. I listened to you. Um, wow. This is just so much needed. So I listened to you. You know, you come from a, a, a high influential area. That's one mm -hmm. thing. You, you are you're on chart. You're, you're, you're not just made moves or not just have made history, even though you have done those things. You're still presently actively doing these things. And you basically have dealt with off and on getting black box. That's mm -hmm. basically what it is. Yeah. That's, that's basically. I do that, that because this is Michigan. Detroit is around here. So you're trying to blackball me here, but then I got all of this out here. I was just nominated for 10 awards in Europe. So mm -hmm. my purpose is not local. I, I'm spreading out. It's like, okay, you can have that. You can try. You can spend a few dollars here and a few dollars there to try to stop me. You can have that. No, because this is where I'm trying to go out here. You know, so while you're here determined to take me down, I'm already out here leaving you in the rear view. That's how I feel about everything. Have you, um, what it, well, before I ask you that question, wow. Love to keep talking <laughs> about. Um, what what insight would you give those, whether they're in the music industry or anywhere in life? Because basically what you do can be incorporated for us all just in general. For those who may feel like, you know, I'm, I'm from here because we, we all, well, not we all, but I think a lot of us feel like because we come from a certain area, we know different people, we know certain people, we expect support to come in certain ways and as you know these things can be very discouraging at times but some people just stop right there and to hear you say okay they didn't they didn't blackball me they tried and I, I so thank you for acknowledging it because it didn't stop anything it like mm -hmm. it allowed all of this array of opportunities this this whole rainbow and I call it a rainbow just all kind of opportunities opening mm -hmm. up before you. So what is your insight and what is your encouragement for people who may get to that point to like, I'm so, I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of, you know, my people's foot being on my neck, people's foot being on my mm -hmm. back. Tired of people not, I'm, I'm, what, what is your encouragement? Even I felt like you just encouraged, you just encouraged me. <laughs> what is your encouraged message or your encouragement note right there for that particular thing? With me, I pray a lot, um, I meditate. And it's like when I pray and I meditate and I just sit by myself sometime away from my husband, you know, just me time. It's like my mind opens up and it reminds me, they're doing this over here. Have you even looked over here? Have you looked there? Have you looked there? So just remember, people are going to try and stop you. That's their job, they're supposed to. Because if it's easy, you're not going to appreciate it. If it's hard and you overcoming it, you'll be able to appreciate it even more and your confidence will go up. So I'm just going to say, just pray, meditate, listen, okay, trust me, listen, and keep on moving forward. Don't just sit there and say, oh, I'm going to pray about it. A miracle going to fall from the sky. No, it's not. You just got to keep on going out there and trust that you're not going to fall off a cliff or hit a brick wall. Just keep going. They're, they're there to stop you. I mean, if you watch football, you see, what are they doing? They're trying to stop 
stop him from going to go make that touchdown. No, your goal is to make that touchdown. Don't worry about them trying to stop you. You're going to push through. As long as you got your mindset, I'm going for that touchdown. So, yeah. Wow. With, you have so many different awards, so many different accomplishments. I, w- I want to ask you about a few, but I want to ask you from a certain angle. So when, what, what award was it you got the first that made you be like, yes? I would have to say the one I got in Las Vegas, the two I got there, because those were my first two. And again, I had people in Detroit saying, oh, I've never heard of you, you know, so you got to do a little bit more. But then this is a whole new region that's ready to give me an award. I got all these people that has voted for me around the world. So it's like, I can do this. I got this. So again, I kept moving forward. I'm going for that touchdown. (laughs) That's where I'm going. (laughs) I like it. So you have... You have made some history. Mm-hmm. Elaborate on those awards because people need to hear this. Because we we don't, we're not, you know what, at this day and time, even though we know this is going to go in the books and it's on the blog, but people need to be able to hear it. They can connect with you. This is called living action history. So elaborate on those things that you have done um, right now, if you don't mind, and mm-hmm. and and talk to the people about it. Well, two of my awards came from overseas. I believe that was Australia. Please forgive me if I don't remember if it's Austria or Australia. Okay, I I have moments too. Um, But I got those awards. And when I looked at all of my demographics of everything, it's people outside of where I sleep. It's people all over the world that has said, yeah, she sound good. And that's streaming my music. Um, R&B Soul Artist of the Year. (sighs) Wow. I mean, this feels really, really good. It's hard to even describe how it feels because it just came from me using a pen and a paper as therapy and then my husband hearing my voice a long time ago. And I'm putting my voice to the pen and paper and I'm like, okay, I'm just putting it out there. And the fact that I'm getting awards and they're calling my name for these awards, like, whoa. Even my first award was um, BBW Artist of the Year. And I'm like, for me to be a big woman and I'm still making moves, yeah, let's keep going. Because I like it. I like it. <laughs> you have to be your own cheerleader too sometimes. So okay. yeah, it feels good. So what were some of your, talk to us about your recent awards. Ooh, my last award, I believe, was the two that I received overseas. I think that was the last two. I even won an award with Mary Kay. So it's like whatever I touch, I I know that I'm going to win as long as I got God. (laughs) Or I I let him take over. I know that I'm going to win. It's no doubt about it you know and like I said it just feels really really good to know that people are outside of the United States listening to my music from Nigeria Austria Germany um where's that Holland Europe I'm like y'all really listening to me out there and I got over 800,000 strength y'all really listening to me thank you everybody thank you Thank you. I truly appreciate it. Our list. So this, as we know, during COVID, as we try to balance back and get back into, uh, uh, as we try to balance and accept the fact that we just have to keep pushing forward and not focusing Mm -hmm. on those too much of those pre-COVID things. What are Mm -hmm. some of your um, accomplishments that you've had, um, you know, right before or during COVID? And what is it that you want for people to know about those awards and the meanings that those awards are not just for you, but Mm -hmm. they're just, you know, the, the, the standard that you're set. Let's talk, Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about those. Um, pretty much. I want people to know that I had to push 
forward. I really had to push. There was times that I was crying and I didn't think that I could do it. I've even was sitting in the hospital a few times and I was like, I can't do this no more. I caught COVID and I was like, I'm gonna lose my voice. No, 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 you can't do that. You, you can't stop. My main thing is you cannot stop. You have to keep going. And when I see those awards come, that lets me know, okay, God hears me. He's letting me know you have a purpose for doing this, you know, and my music, I try to inspire people. So that let me know if I'm winning awards with it, I'm doing my job, I'm inspiring people and I just got to keep going. And I keep saying that I can't stop because if I stop, I'll never know where my music could take me. Hopefully one day I can win a Grammy or two. <laughs> you will. Claim Thank it because you. you're not stopping no, they I can't to block you, but you're not allowing yourself to be blocked. That's right. So all of this awesomeness is, is 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 not is not by accident. I call it by intent. So you're very intentional okay. on what it is that you're doing. Now Thank we're you. in. You're welcome. Now we're in Black History Month. <clears throat> Forgive me, but I struggle with Black History Month. <clears throat> because I feel like these are things we just need to be focusing on on an everyday basis. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I, I want to say, as we do know that this is a month that we take out for Black history, and we know next month is Women's Month. Mm -hmm. Hey. Right. Hey. Girl power. Yeah. So talk about some of those achievements that you have made that you were the first to have made those achievements. Cause these are things that people don't hear enough of because I, I cause we're not talking enough about it. You know, right, right. outside of listening to the music, even though you sound good. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody don't read. Some people actually watch. <laughs> so people, need to, people need to hear it being verbalized, what it is that you have done and are presently doing. Yes, ma'am, there you go, go at it. To be a woman in this male dominated field and to be able to keep going, I'm happy that I have my husband by my side because a lot of times when I can't be the voice or when people try to take advantage, you know, I got him to step in right there. I'm like, oh, wait, wait a minute, you know, that's my other half, literally, shout out to him. Um, and with the awards that I have and to see some of the categories that I'm in, like right now, I'm also nominated in the Southeastern um, Awards, Music Awards, and or the Southern, I'm sorry, Music Awards. And one of the artists that's in there is, um, I don't know if you heard him, but Duke Deuce, you know, him, um, Young Buck, um, Key Glock. And I'm in the same category with them for album of the year. So these are signed artists, male artists, and I'm an independent female artist just to be in those categories. Let me know, okay, I got something in my music or I'm saying something or I'm doing something that's in, not affecting people, but affecting people. I'm doing something right. So as a woman, I can't let these guys try to take over everything no 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 i can't do that that's why we gonna have some women in some place to help highlight some of this awesome <laughs> girl power like i said yes so yes. you have some projects and some things that you're currently working on mm -hmm. let the people know what it what it is well and one of the things people can do to us uh, help you well, one of the things I'm trying to get to Europe, now being an independent artist, don't mean that we rich now because I still got some bills to pay, okay? You know, my husband and I be like, we still got bills to pay now. But I'm trying to get to Europe. So I'm asking everyone, um, please, 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 if you can, donate $5, donate $55, however much you can to my GoFundMe. Give it and to so them. I can type it again. We I need to type it in right now. Um, you can probably find it from my name, Lena Michelle. It should pop up. L-A-Y apostrophe yeah. N-A. Okay. 
So okay. I'm asking, like I say, even if it's just five dollars, that any little bit helps. I need, look, I need it, I need it. And plus, they want me to come over there and perform, and I'm like, yeah, I'm coming. Don't worry, I'm coming. If there's a will, there's a way. And then, not only that, I will be opening up for John B. Ooh. June 11th. Ah. You know, he the white chocolate of our time. So. <laughs> <laughs> he is an amazing artist and to have a double platinum artist or two-time platinum artist yes. to ask me to open up for him I'm like yeah I'm on the way <laughs> yes so I want to get this right because it's it's hey hey honey let me let me there's somebody on here right now and this plane right here is just awesome okay you're headed to Europe right yes Okay, I just got to put that down so people, you know, I'm, I'm going to do my rant after the fact because I like to rant for people after the fact. Okay. Okay. So you, you headed to Europe. You, you are our headline. You're opening up for John B. What else you got going on, huh? Mm, oh, I'm sorry. I had to just think about that. You know, that's John B. <laughs> okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm working on more music as well. Don't want to quite put that out there yet, you know, too much not about it, that not one. It, not that, I'm not also it. an influencer for a new upcoming clothing line, um, Coco Berry. Everyone can find that on my Instagram. It feels good for them to be able to come to me and say, hey, we want you to, you know, show off our clothes, you know, or be one of the influencers. And I was like, okay, I don't think this is real until I actually you know, got some of their items. And when I put it on and put it out there, people are like, oh, that's cute. Let me go shop. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. So yes, I am one of the influencers for Purple Berry. So you can go shop with them, purpleberry.com. <laughs> so you talked about a challenge you went through. You went through a, a, a little season in your life. Now, I'm not going to mm -hmm. ask you what the season was or any of that. But going through that, mm -hmm. clearly you held on to your music and God. Mm -hmm. So during that season, and you still managed to be able to pull yourself through, mm -hmm. and that takes a lot of mental endurance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What insight or encouragement can you give people who may have had these projects work, had these outlines done, been out here making moves and all of a sudden boom, like him? If you see it, if it's been put in your head and you can see it, then that means it's time to execute it. You know, you got to sit back and like you say, outline everything, write down what it is. Like all my dreams and my visions, as soon as I wake up, I have a pen and a paper right next to my bed and I'll write it down. I don't care if it's talking about um, peanut flavored ice cream or, you know, black licorice uh, seasoned chicken or something. I don't care what it is. I write it down because everything was put in your head for a reason. So do not let it die because when you let it die, you may be stopping somebody else from reaching their goal. So what's given to you, you may be supposed to do it so somebody else can do something and then somebody else can do something from what they've done. But if you don't do it, then you might be the one that's stopping the world from, from going on. That's just the way I feel. That's the way I feel because your testimony is not your own. Wow. So what inspires you the most or who inspires you the most? Um, I would have to say, I don't know. I can't just say one person it because- It could be one person. It could be a group of people. It could be an entity. It could be family. It could be something you saw on a billboard. It doesn't have to be like specifically one person. But what is your, what is your, we've talked about your driving forces, those mm -hmm. things that, you know, help push you and help keep you going. And then you, when you went through your season and you still kept your eyes on the plan, you still kept your eyes 
on the prize. So, or what are some things that inspire you or, or some people? Because we have to be careful one. about calling names. He ain't called my name. Just just a few names. Man. Or, or, <laughs> or, you can, or you can kind of say it without saying names. Yes, ma'am. I would say life in general and just everyone that comes into my life, you know, and the reason I say that, because I truly believe that everyone is here for a reason and a season. Everybody that, everybody that I meet, whether they're in my life still or not, I still learn something from them that I'm able to take and keep on going, you know, going forward in life, you know. My mom, I thank God she's still here with me. So, you know, I can say mom and dad, them two especially, <laughs> and my husband. And even my in-laws, you know, I learned a lot from them. They inspire me so much as well. So it's like a whole lot of people. Everybody just don't know, but as soon as I talk to you and I lay eyes on you, you're inspiring me because of something that you're going through or that I'm going through that either you're going to help me or I'm going to help you. And maybe we'll stay friends or stay connected. Maybe we won't. But either way, I believe everyone meet each other for a reason. So everybody, just life in general inspires me. Just everyone. <laughs> Yay. So what are some things now, without talking about putting out there about your big project, um, mm -hmm. that your other projects that you're working on, but what are some things now for people in general that they need to take into consideration with being in the industry. And it, it can be gentle, it can be hardcore inside, it can be firm inside, it can be tender inside. But uh, what are some things that people really need to be conscientious of, of going in the industry and how they need to mentally prepare themselves for? You're gonna have people that's gonna try to stop you not just, you know, people saying you can't do it, but you're going to have moments where you need to finish this project or you need to hit a deadline, but then you're going to have family that's going to, oh, but I need you to do this for me. It's not that you don't care about them. You're going to have to tell them, I love you, but I need to focus on me. So you have to remember, if this is your goal, you have to focus on your goal. Don't say music is your hobby. Don't let anybody say, oh, how you love music going or how you love hobby and music going. No, if this is something that you want to do, you have to treat it like it's your baby. You have to, you have to. And that's my main thing. Treat it like it's your baby. You're not gonna let nobody stop your baby. Um, you're not gonna let nobody stunt the growth of your baby. You gotta treat it like it's your baby. You're not gonna let your baby down, so wow. you have to. Wow, wow. So you just gave it's... great insight for those. What, what is a message you could give to people mm -hmm. who may be telling people, I don't think it's what you need to be doing? Step back. You're gonna have to stop because I've had people in my family, when they first found out that I was going to sing at the LCA saying, oh, I don't think this is a good deal. You shouldn't do it. No, don't do it. And if I had to listen to them, I wouldn't be on an interview here with you today because I wouldn't accomplish what I accomplished. You know, and so I didn't listen to them. I took a chance. I stepped out on faith. Like I said, it's my baby. I had to say, okay, baby, let's go. It's time to Spread your wings, go ahead and fly, baby bird. And like I say, I'm here with you now. And that same family member, I know that they were doing it out of love for me because, you know, this person still says, I'm proud of you. But at the same time, I had to step out on faith and not listen to them at that moment. And that's my main thing. Just be quiet, shut up. <laughs> what I gather for this time that we've been here you mm -hmm. are truly genuinely wholehearted dedicated not just to the music mm -hmm. industry you're dedicated mm -hmm. to people and the reason I say you have to be dedicated to people because just to be willing to take a portion of your time mm -hmm. to still get up and share 
who you are and what you're doing, I don't mm-hmm. take it lightly because you. it, you're welcome, but it's, you know, you're out here doing great things. Mm-hmm. People, more people need to hear it and, and, and see it, but still considering the fact all that you have done and all that you are presently doing and all mm-hmm. that's probably to the 10th or 70th fold that's probably are on your agenda that you are mm-hmm. working on to be able to do it. It's not, it's not just for me. It's not just for you. Like you said, this is true to helping people because people need to hear it from somebody who has truly gone through it, going through mm-hmm. it and still plan mm-hmm. on doing it and enduring. And I can appreciate you for that. I can appreciate you for telling people, making people aware that they're not the only ones that people may have not support. For reminding mm-hmm. people, it's going to be some people in your family that are going to have something smart to say. And oh, then yeah. you're still able to pull yourself together. So what do you do outside of music to help keep you balanced though? It's it, like, what helps keep you balance i know you say you meditate i know you believe in god but you know do you read do you just sit and listen to the birds chirp outside what what do you do to maintain your your moment of woosa i just i watch tv um i relax with my husband because my husband i notice he's kind of like he's really a protector of me when he sees that I need a moment to myself he's like oh, cut everything including music right now give it a few seconds pull back relax recharge yourself and then get back out there um I travel I love to travel if it's sunny like Jamaica I'm there I love to do that and even then I'm gonna pick up a pen and paper somewhere <laughs> and start right even then even then but yeah, movies. I love to watch movies and travel and be with my husband. <laughs> and I want to thank you for coming on, sharing your story and, and sharing you. your insight and just pouring out your knowledge. And I truly want to thank you for being the woman of your cap that's not thank making you. excuses because you, like we just mentioned in a portion of what you do. <laughs> we're not gonna get all this on no one on no one live we don't they, these are just small portions of what she does so what we need to do is take a moment and we need to allow you first to tell people where they need to find you where's your social media we we need to put that out there um we we people need to hear that and, and of course, I know you all get the other information I need because we're going to help raise some coins is what we're going to do. Thank you. Not Thank raising you. nothing where technically people is called making, it's called making that, making that investment because we go out here and pay, let's see, here go my rent. We go out here and pay $100, $200 for a pair of shoes that don't cost but $5 to make. So, you know, okay. we're part of part of truly you know giving back to people we know things actually cost money Mm -hmm. and 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 you know nobody is coming to the table with a cup half empty and they cup poor this cup is truly overflowing and this cup is steady overflowing because of the things that she is doing and the things that she has done And the goal here is to create a community of supportive people. I just try to make my space and do things in a certain time frame. But whether that trip in Europe is come and gone, with this sister got to keep traveling because she's leaving her footprints in the sand right now. Okay, so I'm give people their flowers while they're living. Thank so um, before we start, I'm, I, I put out there on Facebook, we put a lot of money in the ground to bury people, but we sure ain't spending no money mm-hmm. with people. I'm struggling with that. Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm struggling with that <clears throat> Black folks mm-hmm. during Black History Month. So we're going to say something. We're going to cut these funeral expenses in half 
And we're going to start supporting Ms. Lena Michelle. And like she said, no donation is too small. So guess what? If she had 5,000 people to at least give her $1, guess what? Mm -hmm. how, how about that? And maybe that's something we need to try to channel in and start and keep it rolling, but we're going we to do you. this also. You're welcome. So tell people where you can be found, how they can read, how they can see glimpses of your music, how they can hear your music, and because we're going to end with the trip that you're about to take. Um, everybody, you can find me at www.layna.michelle.com. Or any social media site you're on, I don't care if it's YouTube, TikTok, yes, I got a TikTok, um, Facebook, Instagram, type in hashtag RNB Empress in your search bar. That's my internet signature. You will find me. Even in Google, hashtag RNB Empress, you'll find everything that I've done. I'm an open book. Okay, so. We're going to go back to this GoFundMe page. Mm -hmm. How are people able to make their donations? Um, just go to GoFundMe. I'll make sure that we send you the direct link, too. Definitely. And you just go there and follow the prompts. That's all I can say. And you can donate it anonymous or you can leave a message. I prefer you leave a message because all words of encouragement, it, it helps me truly. Uh, yeah, you can just do that. Please share it. Even if you can't donate, just share it. That's all I ask. Please do. Because you never know who will see it and who will donate. So I think everyone. stuff with people that I learned a few years ago. What? Randomly tag people. Mm -hmm. Random. Yeah. Random. I learned a few years ago, randomly tag people. It does help by you randomly tagging people, not who they, not who when you go in and they got these automatic tags. Now, I mean, like start at the last name and just start randomly clicking your Keep way going up up. and tagging mm -hmm. people because what I found, majority of those people be okay mm -hmm. as long as you're not putting anything negative and hateful, you know, out there. Right. And these literally may not be people who utilize their pages a lot, but I do, I mean, I have been amazed Mm -hmm. and how that can be very beneficial to people even just making people know mm -hmm. who somebody is and what they're doing now thank you thank you well, but i'm very firm about being supportive during this season people and uh, i mean we just folk we focusing on on the r&b empress tonight and we're gonna be focusing on her through 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 the rest and we're gonna continue to share and support and we all need to subscribe but you know mm -hmm. we need to start circling our money within this particular network thank you because the thank people you. in this network are truly people who are looking out for other people and truly want to see people thrive yes. and thank it, you. it doesn't take so there's nothing wrong with giving somebody you know who stand out with a sign every day for eight hours, six days a week, a few cents. So we can take them cents mm -hmm. and multiply them by five and we'll have probably a little bit more than $5 that we can just make that donation with. <laughs> and I'm very serious and I'm going to reshare this and people that know me know I'm very serious. So we need to be assisting her because she's doing too many great things not to be able and nothing is going to stop her but she doesn't need to it doesn't need to be so much of a financial strength so <laughs> she's got the people watching she's got people viewing she's got people you know downloaded please please thank you no nothing is too nothing is too small you're welcome and you deserve it like favor ain't fair but you really deserve this because you have worked too hard to get to where you are. And I'm going to do what I can on my end. You have already done what you can on your end. And I'm just a firm believer that regardless of how it may look getting there, you're going to get there regardless. 
Don't get me to cry. Don't get me. To cry. <laughs> this is not like you want to get there, and and I I I believe it. I know it. You know, I'm not. You know, I I don't I don't believe in. It's too. You're doing too many good things. You didn't came over too much. So the the same God that brought you through everything ain't finna bring you to this doorstep and drop you off. Stop. You know? That's right. Something happening, you don't go. He protecting you from something. Okay. That's right. Okay, but 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 we ain't gonna claim that. We gonna claim you gonna go over there, and you gonna come back bringing back something because you're constantly making history in the music industry. Yes. And these Thank things you. need to be said out loud, and. I'm just in awe of being able to be before your presence. That's why I don't take it lightly because of who you are, what you do, what you have done, and you're humble enough to where you can still keep moving. That's why, because you don't get comfortable. You know, I thank you for extending your platform to me and letting me be a guest on your platform. That truly means a lot. Because you could have easily said, okay, here's this artist, here's that artist. But you let me come on your platform. And I thank you so much for the kind words. It well, truly means a lot. Well, I thank you. And I know you'll be as a lady, honey, but this ain't going to be the last time. Because um, when is this trip? Um, it's in August. Okay, so we're going to get on another time or two before August, honey. That sounds good. Hopefully we can meet face to face. If we have to do coffee. In the morning on live, if we have to do wine or something, however it's gonna go, we're not just gonna drop this off right here. Sounds good to me. Okay, we're Sounds gonna put good. this, we're gonna put this out there and out there. And I'm good about tagging people and getting blocked out of groups. I'm okay. My sister <laughs> taught me to do that. Okay. She the one told me to do that when I tried to work under her, but she She's like a drill sergeant, honey. So I can't work under her. She got a tax business. <laughs> she's good. I I I can't, but like that sister was like, wait a minute. <laughs> ain't nobody marketing today. I see y'all on Facebook. So yeah, we're gonna be marketing and putting this stuff out here that you're doing. I want Thank you to close you. us out. Whatever closing message you may have, whatever closing insight um you may have, I want you to do that um because it would not it would not serve a good enough purpose a good enough effective idea that i believe people can speak for themselves so we're gonna let you i first want to say thank you for having me on your platform thank you so much um to everybody out there that may be in the music industry or any type of art um industry Keep going. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't take no for an answer. You know, don't pressure anybody, but don't take no for an answer. Don't let anybody stop you. You have to keep moving because if the vision was put in your head, that means it's supposed to be put out there. You're supposed to execute it. And remember Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So thank you so much, everyone, for even just taking the time to listen. Now, before you close out, I'm going to post something. And people don't be knowing. It's a few people mm -hmm. that do go back and watch. I'm not going to call their name and put them out there because sometimes people like to remain anonymous. So just know that this content is mm -hmm. put before other people also. Like you have done good things. Mm -hmm. yes ma'am and I'm going to do my part to make sure and so you keep doing what you're doing because there's some more people that's going to be reaching out to thank you and for those of you all before y'all go spend all that tax money <laughs> <laughs> please donate to the cops okay <laughs> Let me to roll around here and y'all to spend all y'all money. Y'all ain't donated no money. Y'all better donate some money because she's doing too many good things and we need to be able to support her. We need to be Thank able to. You. You're welcome, beautiful. I appreciate you. We're going to have you back on again. 
we gonna probably at least twice because we gotta we gotta we gonna do we gonna keep pushing and pushing Thank See, you. I'm like that family member. I done got too comfortable. Now I ain't going nowhere. I can kick my shoes off. My shoes is by the door. You're like, when she leaving? I ain't leaving. No, I'm already in the refrigerator. <laughs> and I thank y'all, especially for y'all's understanding. So thank you so much, okay? Thank you. I appreciate you, Queen. I do. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. And I'll be in touch. Sounds good. Okay. Have a good night, okay? You too. Bye, everybody. Bye.